I am in Osaka, Japan and today it stopped raining because it was raining all day yesterday and today I'm going to visit some places here there are so many things to see in Osaka and Osaka is pretty big so I'm not sure if I'll be able to see everything but I'll try it's 9 a.m. at the moment and I just went out of my hostel a museum of science Osaka castle, some parks maybe zoo, zoo is somewhere here but don't know yet Where are those takoyaki? Not here As far as I've heard, Osaka is really well known for takoyaki Takoyaki is small rounded stuff made from octopus so it's like octopus dumplings and they have really different them, different tastes and other stuff so I think I'll try one of those today. So those are the prices in Osaka. Takoyaki prices like for 300, 400, 500. For example this like standard taste takoyaki is 400 for 8 pieces. They have rice, they have everything here so rice. Fried rice with roast pork is almost 500. There are small stuff like this. They cost like 120. Okay, like octopus, squid, salmon, and other stuff. They have so many different stuff here. So, those are takoyaki. I don't think. They should be really tasty. I don't even know how to eat them. Wow! It tastes really interesting. I mean, like they are so specific that you cannot describe them. There's squid with some other stuff inside, like veggies and other. Mm. <laughs> nice. I'm in Osaka Shinsekai region, and this region have the reputation of the most dangerous region in Osaka. But, you know what, <laughs> Japan itself is not dangerous at all, so comparing to no danger, this more dangerous region is nothing. <laughs> this tower is called Tsutenkaku or something like that, I'm not sure about it. And I hope it's possible to go up on the top of it. Hello, so it's 300 for... Oh, no, no, 700. 700. Seven. Hey. Okay, understood. Okay, listen. Okay. Mm, 700 is too much for this stuff. That's... No. No, thank you. Just been in a game center. That one, uh, game station or something like that. Wow! <laughs> if you're interested in anime stuff, 
like features of anime, uh, DVD, um, magazines or other stuff, manga. You should look for the region called Denden. Uh, Denden town, I think. It has lots of these shops with DVDs and other stuff, with anime features. And you can find anything about anime right here in this part of the city, in Osaka. Anime figures are really popular in Japan. So there are really a lot of shops with this kind of stuff around. Not only anime, others. I know one person that would like a lot of those to have. Maybe even two persons. exchange like this automatically so you just start the change confirming that it will not be returned if you enter it putting the money right here any amount of different money uh, it didn't accept my Sri Lankan rupees but they accept others like Europe dollars a lot of them actually so, and then you get your coins and banknotes from here. It's pretty nice and you don't need any help from this. Perfect. Okay, I'm in Shinsei Bashi shopping street. And it's really huge, it's like... If I'm not mistaken, it's like several kilometers long. There are several streets in parallel. You can buy anything you want right here. And there is no end to it. Both sides. I've been log walking along this street for half an hour straight, one street. And I still didn't... I, I couldn't see an end for it. So it's huge. And if you need anything you can go on this street and you can buy anything you want. That's Osaka Science Museum. And looks like it's cheaper than I've been, than I've expected. For exhibits, it's 400 for adult, and for planetarium hall, which I would like to see also, it's like 600 yen for a single person. I got a ticket to science museum, and the planetarium, she told, like planetarium was only in Japanese language. So it wouldn't be so interesting for me. Okay, that was Africa. Brazil. I'm going to Brazil this year. Yeah, nice.
Okay, that science museum disappointed me a little bit. Maybe I've been expecting too much. I've been waiting for some super magic, super science things around, like robots. I don't know. <laughs> but that was pretty nice. You could check some magnetic stuff and other stuff around, try how science works. But still, it's not what I expected of that. So you can try it, it's pretty fun. But not super Japanese. <laughs> Japanese streets and roads are so clean that I don't really have to look on the road. And I'm bare feet. And. I don't care about it, I mean like, there is no glass on the ground uh, I didn't, and you don't have to look on the, on the ground to walk on it because the roads are so flat, so clean you can eat from them and it's perfect place for walking around and without any shoes <laughs> not for everyone, yeah, but still, it could be nice I'm at what was the name of this street? I'm at Shisai Bash Shisai Shisai Bash. I'm at Shisai. The f is the name of this street. I can't remember it.